Hello students, welcome to this bonus SketchUp 8 project. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get you started on a miniature model of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, France. So it's nice if um, we had some pictures to go by. So if you just go to Google and type this in, Arc de Triomphe, and then uh, what I'm going to do is rather than getting actual photographs, um, I typed in 3D model so I can see other artists' renderings either on the computer or actual physical models of the Arc de Triomphe. And then I just went to images and these are the ones that I'm going to use as reference. Okay? Alright, so let's open SketchUp 8 and let's go to File, Save As, make sure you save it in your student number and let's call it Arc de Triomphe. Okay, or for short, you can just type in ADT, Arc de Triomphe. All right, let's save. Okay, so let's zoom out. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw this to precise measurements, but it's not the actual scale of the Arc de Triomphe. Like I said, we're going to draw a miniature version. Okay, all right, let's start with the rectangle tool. And let's start a little bit away from our um, reference point here. And uh, let's click. Remember, click once. Don't hold the mouse down and just start dragging a square. So what I want you to type in is 5 meters, 5M, comma, 3M. So 5M, comma, space, 3M, and then hit Enter. So this is what it should look like. It should look like a long, somewhat skinny rectangle. Okay, that was 5M comma space 3m let's click the push pull tool click on it once don't hold the mouse start dragging upwards and type in 6m 6 meters and hit enter so you see that the building the structure is actually quite tall even though it's a miniature okay all right so what we need to do is we need to go to the window pull down menu go to window and go to Model Info, Model Info. What we need to do is down the left hand side you need to click on Units and then here in the Format window change it to Decimal and then here change it to Meters. You don't have to click anything else. Okay? Alright, then we close this window. Okay, let's zoom into this corner here. Let's zoom into this corner a bit. Okay, let's use the tape measure tool. Click on the tape measure, and I want you to click precisely in this corner once where it says endpoint. Do not hold the mouse, just click once and start dragging your tape measure down the front face um, of the rectangle. And then type in 1.5M, 1.5M, and then hit enter. So what's going to happen is the tape measure is going to measure down from that corner to 1.5 uh, meters. And then if I zoom out, I could see a little marker there. So I'm going to use my um, pan tool. Okay, so I can clearly see that there. All right, so let's click on the rectangle tool. And I want you to start on that guide point right there. Click once, don't hold the mouse, start dragging a rectangle up. And I want you to type in 3M comma space 2M. 3M comma space 2M. 3 meters by 2 meters. And then hit enter. So we'll create an opening that looks like this okay so try to get your proportions correct if it doesn't look like this then you probably typed in the wrong measurements okay all right let's click on the arc tool the arc tool let's click once on this corner do not hold the mouse drag across to the other corner click a second time do not hold the mouse and then drag the arc upwards Type in 0 0.9 meters and then hit enter. All right, let's click on the eraser tool and get rid of this dividing line here. Okay, so you'll probably have to orbit around a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to push this opening, this archway, all the way through the structure. 
So let's click on the push pull tool and try to push it in all the way until it turns gray. Now if that doesn't work, what you can do is you can start pushing it in a little bit and then we know that the width of this structure is 3 meters so you can type in 3m and then hit enter and that should push it all the way through. Okay, so now we have an archway here. So in order to get the scale, let's zoom back. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's go around to the side. And let's use our tape measure tool again. Let's click on the tape measure. Click once in this corner. Don't hold the mouse. Start dragging to the right and type in 0.75m, 0.75 meters, 0.75 meters, and then hit enter. And that should give us a guide point here. Click on the rectangle tool. Click once, don't hold the mouse, start dragging up a rectangle and type in 2.3m comma space 1.5m. 2.3 meters, 1.5 meters. 2.3m comma space 1.5m. And then hit enter. Okay, so we've got our new opening here. Let's click on the arc tool. Click once in this corner, do not hold the mouse, drag across. Click a second time to the other end point. Start dragging up. Do not click a third time. Type in 0 0.6 meters and then hit enter. All right, let's use the eraser tool and get rid of this dividing line. We might have to orbit around, so we're looking at it slightly at an angle. Let's push this archway all the way through. Let's click on the push pull tool and start pushing in. It should, you should be able to push in until it turns gray. If it doesn't go all the way, start pushing in and then type in 1.5 meters and that should push it all the way through. Now you see that it's pushed all the way through to the original archway. Okay, let's do the same thing, the exact same thing on the other side. Let's click the tape measure tool. Let's click once in the bottom left hand corner Start dragging your tape measure tool down. Do not hold the mouse. Type in 0 0.75 meters and then hit enter. 0 0.75 meters and hit enter. Let's click on the rectangle tool. Let's click once on this guide point. Do not hold the mouse. Click once. Start dragging upwards. And again, the dimensions were 2.3 meters by 1.5 meters. 2.3 m comma space 1.5 m and then hit enter now remember this doorway this archway is the exact same size and in the exact same position as the one we just made on the other side all right let's click on the arc tool let's click once on one endpoint and then a second time on the other endpoint without holding your mouse start pulling upwards do not click a third time and type in 0 0.6 meters and then hit enter. All right, let's click on the eraser tool. Let's orbit around a little bit and let's click on the push pull tool and start pushing that inwards. It should go in all the way until it turns gray and it says on face. And if it doesn't, you can start pushing it in and type in 1.5 M and it should push it all the way through. There we go. I can see through the both arches here and from the front we have a much larger arch. Okay, so let's zoom out. Let's have a look at what we've got in terms of scale and I'll pan and then I'll orbit around and you can see she can clearly walk through this miniature Arc de Triomphe. Okay, so let's go up and save. File, save and this concludes the first tutorial. Thanks for watching. You can move on to the second tutorial. Bye.